Hello guys, here's Graphite. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a seamless slide transition with After Effects. So, let's get started. Here we are in After Effects. We will create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. Rename it Final Comp and press OK. We will create another composition with the same settings and rename it Transition Comp. On this advanced settings, we will change the shutter angle to 300 and press OK. Drag the transition comp to the final comp and lock it. Let us drag a footage to the timeline. Fit it to the screen. Select and pre-compose the layer. Select Move All Attributes and rename it Layer Comp. Double-click on the Layer Comp, select the footage and pre-compose it. Rename the footage Pick 1. Go back to the previous comp and add an effect called Motion Tile. Put the Time Ruler at 2 seconds on the timeline. Enable the keyframe of the Tile Center. Press U to reveal the keyframe. Drag that keyframe on the start and enable the next keyframe. OK, now we will create three copies of this image by dragging the tile center to the left. Maintain Shift while dragging it. OK, it's good now. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. Go to the graph and adjust it. OK, look at the time bar. We will focus on the 13 millisecond. Double click on the layer. Take note on this comp. This is the exact previous 13 millisecond comp. Create an adjustment layer and rename it Marker. We will use it as a reference. OK, on this marker, we will drag an image to his exact point. Precompose the footage and rename it Pick 2. OK, now let's get a small look. Great! Now skip one second on the timeline and split the layer. Remove all the previous keyframes and enable new ones at the same point of the below keyframes and drag them on the start of the layer. Now drag down the tile center to create three other copies. Select all the keyframes, inverse them, and easy ease them. Adjust also the graph. As we done previously, take your time ruler to 13 millisecond. Double click on the precomp, place a marker on the same point of the time ruler. Drag a footage and place it at the same point of the time ruler. Precompose the footage and rename it Pick 3. Now get a look. OK at this point, I'm just repeating what we have done previously. So I will just speed up this part enough you can still have a look.
Okay, now we are done. Let's have a preview. Great job! Okay, now take a look at these images. They are just static, and it's not very captivating. Let's try to make these images much more alive. Create a null object, and rename it scale. Drag it above of the last pick comp. Press S to reveal the scale. Click first on the stopwatch. I will solo this layer first to be more concentrate. Go on to 25 seconds and enable the second keyframe. Parent first the layer to the null before changing its value. Now put the value at 150. Take a look. Great! Unsolo this layer. Select the scale null object and duplicate it four times. Drag each scale null object above each pick comp. Select now each pick comp and parent them to each of his below scale null object. Now align each null object at the same point of each of its above pick comp. Okay, now get a look. Great! Go back to the previous comp and take a look. Okay, now set the motion blur switch on all the layers. And go on here and enable the motion blur for the layers having the motion blur switch set. Let's have a preview. Great! But if you want to change the amount of blur on this comp, go on to composition settings, select advanced and increase the shutter angle. Look how motion blur increase. Look. But for this transition I will prefer this 300 degree. Let's now add our final touch to this video. Right click, create a solid layer, and rename it frames. Double click on the rectangle tool to create a mask. Select the mask and press Ctrl T to enable the transform option. Hold Ctrl and drag down the top line to create our film look. Just inverse the mask and we're done. Okay, now let's have our final preview. Great job. Thanks for watching. It was a pleasure as always. You can like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming tutorials. It was Graphite. See you on the next tutorial.